Good morning and thank you for joining us on Morning Markets. Today we'll look at equity market performance from yesterday, some commentary from some companies and then focus in on some economic data. So just looking at equity markets yesterday, not a lot of change when we look at the main indices, probably the FTSE outperforming um, over the course of the day, supported by, by the financial sector, which had a better day in, in the UK. I think really that lacklustre performance of, of equity markets is reflective of where we are in terms of the time of the year, but also the focus that there is within the market at this point in time on the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium in the US and the discussion that we will hear there from central bankers and in particular the US Fed around their potential expectations for a reduction in the, the monetary support they're providing or in, in market terms the way it's been described tapering of, of their monetary support. I think the other thing from yesterday in the equity context is just a couple of airline companies in the US discussing the, the impact that the Delta variant is having on their current month bookings so that for the month of August and into to September and basically talking about a slight slowdown in, in their bookings and maybe an increase in cancellations as well and that was coming from both American Airlines and also Southwest Airlines yesterday. Really that brings together two topics that we've discussed a number of times. The focus on higher frequency data, so those revenue trends, passenger throughput at airports really does give you a sense of how activity in the economy is evolving but also about looking at data from a variety of sources. The more timely data that we have the more insight one can take from the current environment. And that's just an interesting snippet from those two companies. Just looking at the economic data from yesterday, it's worth commenting on the German IFO sentiment survey again, but really showing a little bit of a, a rollover in, in that positivity. And clearly, positivity couldn't keep going and going. There had to be a time when some of these data points would roll over. I think the bit of the, the survey that's worth just touching on is the, is the expectation component, which did decline, and really the common causes there are very similar to that which we've been discussing over the past number of months. Supply chain concerns, cost pressures, and COVID-19 uh, variants all weighing differently on, on sentiment from, from those ma business uh, managers within Germany. So that's a, a point just worth noting. I think then the other thing just to, to touch on in the US, continue to see good durable goods numbers coming through there. Uh, the core level, stripping out the more volatile uh, components, durable goods orders increasing 0.7%. The other thing just I wanted to comment on in Asia this morning, we've seen uh, the, the Bank of Korea increase interest rates, one of the first uh, major uh, Asian central banks to certainly embark on a, on a tightening cycle at this point in time. In terms of what we're looking at in the day ahead, we've got the weekly US jobs report, which over the past couple of weeks has been trending positively. That's important given the Fed's focus on jobs, but also that we'll get the August um, employment data um, towards the end of, of next week. I'll leave it there. Please do join us again tomorrow. Many thanks. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.